The trumpet and cornet are two very similar instruments, but there are a few key differences. In my right hand, I have a silver-plated B-flat trumpet, and in my left hand, I have a raw brass cornet, also pitched in B-flat. So these two instruments, if we were to stretch the tubing out, the length of that tubing would be exactly the same for both trumpet and cornet. You can tell they both produce a concert B flat. Now let's talk about the three main differences between these two instruments. The cornet is more tightly wrapped. The tubing is more tightly wrapped. It's more compact. On the trumpet, it's a little bit more stretched out. So if we take these two and we hold them side by side, lining up the bell at the bottom, you can tell that the cornet looks a little bit shorter than the trumpet. But again, that length of tubing is exactly the same, but since it's more tightly wrapped, it's shorter from bell to mouthpiece. The uh, second difference between the two is the size and shape of the bore. So the bore is the diameter of the tubing. And on the trumpet, the bore is more cylindrical, meaning it's the same diameter all the way through from the lead pipe until right here when the bell begins and that bell flare begins. So that uh, bore is cylindrical, stays the same diameter. However, on the cornet, the bore changes. It starts one size, but then gradually gets larger, and we call that conical. So it's like a cone. It's, it's small at the top, and it gradually gets larger toward the bottom. So that conical bore will start here about the same diameter as of the trumpet, but even on the lead pipe, it's going to get larger and larger until, we, again, we come out to the bell flare where it's, it obviously gets uh, larger much faster. So that is the bore difference between the trumpet and cornet. And lastly, the, the difference we have is between the mouthpieces. A trumpet mouthpiece is a little bit longer than a cornet mouthpiece. Also, the size and shape of the cup is different inside the mouthpiece, and we'll talk about the anatomy of the trumpet mouthpiece later. But the size of the cup on the trumpet is, has a shallower cup. On the cornet, it has a deeper, more V-shaped cup, almost uh, similar to a French horn. So let's demonstrate here the sound difference between the two and see if you can hear a difference in how the trumpet and cornet sound. Now on the cornet. Now, which of those two sounded brighter? Which of the two sounded darker? The cornet has a little bit more of a mellow sound, doesn't it? And that has to do with those differences, being more tightly wrapped, having a conical bore, and having that deeper mouthpiece. Now, if I were to take a cornet mouthpiece, add a little adapter for the trumpet, and put it into the trumpet, I almost have an instant sounding cornet. So there you have the differences and similarities between the trumpet and cornet. And depending on your uh, band and the conductor, he, may, he or she may call for trumpet or cornet. And depending on what they have available, you can try out those differences. A lot of times younger students will begin on the cornet because it's a little bit more easy to hold. But by and large, the vast majority of uh, trumpet players will play trumpet over cornet unless they're playing a cornet solo like I just did there with Carnival of Venice.